What's up guys, hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to give you a quick overview of iOS 14 beta 2 as well as a jailbreak update on iOS 14 with a new jailbreak method specifically that's being worked on as we speak for iOS 13 that I think may be available for iOS 14 in the fall. Now I do have a number of iOS 14 videos on my channel including a guide for how to install iOS 14, hidden features in iOS 14, an iOS 14 full review, and a jailbreak timeline video. So if you are interested in those, go check them out and they will be in the description below the video. If you are new to the channel, welcome, thanks for watching, and be sure to smash the like button below the video if you do enjoy it, and subscribe if you do enjoy these videos. Be sure to watch all the way to the end if you are interested in hearing about the new jailbreak method that may apply to iOS 14 as well as iOS 13 over the summer. So iOS 14 beta 2 was not a huge update honestly. I have it installed here on my iPhone 7. This is the device I've been using to test iOS 14 on and the first beta contained all of the major features like the widgets themselves, the app library, all the features we were expecting but this update focuses mostly on the performance and the bug fixes. Honestly guys, iOS 14 beta 1 was one of the smoothest betas I've ever used of any firmware from Apple and after a day or two of beta 2 it's even smoother. I'm loving it. It's just been great. Super smooth and I think this update's going to be amazing when it's released in the final release this fall. It feels smooth enough that it feels almost even like a GM firmware and we are still months from the final release. Now I haven't had any issues but of course some folks have so that's just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt obviously. For me the performance and the battery life have been surprisingly smooth. So what changes can be found in iOS 14 beta 2? First off the calendar icon up there in the upper right has been changed with an abbreviation of the day instead of the full name on the home screen so just a simple little change there. The clock icon also has been slightly updated. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the video, but the fonts are bolder and the hands of the clock are a little bit thicker, which is a cool small little change so you can see more prominently what time it is in the clock app. Not sure how many people use that, but it has been changed. Now, if you are in a widget, the weather widget has been fixed to not default to Cupertino. If you do enter another location, it will work. As you can see, I have New York entered here, so that's been fixed. Now, if you do go into the widgets interface, you can actually add a new files widget that they did not previously have and you can choose the size there so that's a new widget that you can add to the home screen. They still do not have a clock widget however. An update has been made where you can delete apps directly from the app library even if they are not on your home screen so that's nice to have. Now I don't have the reminders widget installed here but it does actually show you a reminder in the new small view. Also when you connect to a Wi-Fi network that does not use a private Wi-Fi address you will get a warning in the settings app. If you do go into the music app and you press back and forth or play it does give you haptic feedback which is nice. Lastly also in music you can disable animation cover art in the settings of the music app or set it to Wi-Fi only. So as you can see nothing really revolutionary guys but let's get into the jailbreak update and touch on the new Odyssey jailbreak that has been teased recently for iOS 13 as I wanted to share a few quick thoughts about it. I do have a separate video discussing the iOS 14 jailbreak in general which I'll link down there below the video so go ahead and check that out. But for now the Odyssey jailbreak has not been released but Coolstar has been teasing it who is a developer on Twitter and they shared a few details. Supposedly this new Odyssey jailbreak will work on a 8 devices to A13 devices, which is the iPhone 6, all the way up to the iPhone 11, and it will work on iOS 13 and iOS 13.5. Now, it will come with Cilio pre-installed, which is a Cydia alternative, and the option to download Cydia as well. Now, the process will be similar to the Uncovered Jailbreak, as you will need to sideload the app onto your device and then jailbreak with the tweak installers added through the process. Right now, I think the reason this is interesting and why this may apply to iOS 14 is that we already have two working jailbreaks for iOS 13 in CheckRain and Uncover, and I don't really know or see why it would be worth it for the Odyssey team to release a brand new jailbreak weeks after the Uncovered jailbreak, or even months rather at this point. It doesn't seem like a good way to compete with these, especially because many of the people who have a jailbreak already use the other methods. So I think it may be a strategic timing thing that they have to tease a jailbreak on the old firmware and position themselves with a new jailbreak for iOS 14 so they can be one of the first to do so on the new firmware, especially when a jailbreak needs to be developed for the iPhone 12 in a few months when that's released. Brand new jailbreak there. So overall, I think this is good news to hear and it's very very interesting to think about those are my opinions but i'm interested to hear what you guys think about this and i'm interested to see what happens in the next few months leave a comment if you are interested in that and if you want to see another video or what you think about that jailbreak but anyway that was my review and jailbreak update for ios 14 beta 2 hope you enjoyed and be sure to smash the like button if you like the video below the video and subscribe to my channel with bell notifications on for more ios 14 coverage coming soon also be sure to check out my recommended tech products for products i personally use and enjoy on my amazon store link in the description and if you have any questions leave a comment below and i'll do my best to answer it i also have my social media profiles in my website link below for you to follow and interact with me further so drop a follow there specifically twitter i'm usually active there a lot and thanks for watching new videos every thursday and as always i'll catch you in the next one peace